Hi folks, I'm just conscious I haven't done an update for a short while with all the projects that are going on. I've kind of been immersed in the production uh, thing going on right now. So I just thought I'd take a minute, step back and just update you all on some of the projects that are going on right now. The big project we've got going on right now is Eddie Elwood's documentary. It's called Eddie, My Universe, and it charts the life of five times Mr. Universe, Eddie Elwood. It covers his strongman, it covers his activism, it covers a lot of training, but there's also a gangster side of him that not a lot of people know. And what we're doing is we're bringing a documentary out that charts everything, so you can see two sides of this man. There's some bloody colorful stories in this, and there's some really good characters that we're talking to in this documentary. Documentary. The documentary has been slightly delayed and that was due to Eddie going to court, very public due to Covid reasons, kept his gym open as a protest, a peaceful protest which led him to go to court and that's been long and drawn out. That is covered in the documentary as well. The next thing we're going to be looking at is Jag Singh. Now we're due to start filming Jag Singh and it's a documentary called Jag Singh Unbreakable that is going to be charting life in the 70s with the National Front. Now Jag is a Sikh so you can imagine with all the riots, the, the racism and everything and at that point in the 70s Jag was just a young Sikh boy. It's a captivating story it's a horrendous story because the people who we turn to for help i.e the police they were just as racist back in the day so this documentary is going to tell a complete story of jag singh and how it's made him the person he is today where he turns that round into positivity and helps put that back into the community and help people it, it is a gripping documentary and you know it's all storyboarded out right now we will be going to london uh, back end of august start of september to begin filming that project too so that's a good one to watch out for another film that we're working on uh, towards the back end of the year it may well tip into the new year you know with it due to some of the delays and the projects that we've got going on right now it's a film called Kazi now that's a psychological thriller and that's going to be um, based around a woman scorned with her ex she finds out a lot of things just aren't as they were and it comes out and really truthfully my words it boils a piss and so you can imagine she wants to take revenge in the biggest way that she can the script's been written from a great screenwriter called Craig Douglas. He's done Stephen King's shorts and a lot of other um, type of short films with some really dark twists in them. So I enlisted his help to try and darken this off and um, come up with the goods. And he's come up with a good story so far on this. So that is due to begin filming back end of this year. We're also going to be shooting a film that I can't really go into right now um, because of the contract. We're not allowed to talk about it. It is a film on a documentary type film on a prominent figure, that's all I can say, who's got some really good stories. Um, I can't discuss it right now. The reason why I'm mentioning it in this mix of things is it's going to be very interesting and it's one that you want to watch out for when it does land. And unfortunately, this one is going to have no prior notice when it's done and it's ready to go. It's just going to drop. It's as simple as that. So again, just be mindful of that. If you're interested in following everything that we're doing, this is going to be a big one and it's just going to drop out there. Another thing we've been doing around all the madness over the last few months is moving into our new studio. Now this new studio, it's bigger, it's better, and it fosters a better creative environment. And already we're seeing the difference. It's been hard work, it was just a shell, it needed gut in, and then we've had to just go and put all the toys into it, soundproof the walls, do everything like that. And of course we've had a few beers along the way while we've been kitting it out. But we're here, we're in our new home in Whitby, and you know we're ready to step up the creativity. Supervisor. 
lastly, for those who know me, they know I'm up for a good challenge or two, and I've done quite a few in my time for charity. Um, I've been challenged on something, we're going to make a documentary out of it actually. Um, I'm a guy who's walked the country, ran the country, cycled around the country, and I've been challenged to something so bizarre. Now, people say I challenge it to this, and a lot of them, it's just kind of pie in the sky stuff, but this one made me raise an eyebrow. All I can say right now, at this point, I'm just going to be a little bit vague because we're still specking the whole thing out. All I'll say is it involves a bagpipe. right it involves a bagpipe so i'll leave that one there for now watch social media watch the youtube channel and see the bits and pieces that will come out from that one and that's going to be filmed just ad hoc over a 12 month period and then it's going to drop out should be a good laugh that one don't forget to smash the like button give this a share and if you haven't already subscribe to the youtube channel so that's recording i'm paul suggett uh filmmaker docu no, fuck that yeah strong man and everything else that he does which i'm just talking bollocks so just give us a sec mate <laughs> the big project we've got going on right now and it has been a little bit delayed is it called uh, <laughs> fucking one of them days yeah now kazi is a short film <clears throat> it's a psychological thriller and <clears throat> fucking hell <clears throat> here we go we're also going to be sh <coughs> fucking hell's up with me today. Come punches in the face, will you, mate? Um, don't forget to smash the like button and shit. No. Yeah. Don't forget to smash the like button, folks, and share the shit out of this if you want. No. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's the littlest things that are the most awkward. Don't forget to smash the like button and share this everywhere you can. That'll do. Fucking hell. What can I say? What can I say? I can't get my words out.